everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. Today we've got something new and special for you and I'm doing these gorgeous um, Christmas clamshell uh, wax melts and we're going to actually colour all of the Christmas decorations on there. We've got a snowman, a candy cane, a bauble and a Christmas tree and I'm just going to make eight at the moment because what we will have on the website is a picture of these ones that I'm making today with a drop down menu of fragrances that you can choose from. I'm only limited to a certain amount of fragrances um, or in that drop down menu so I'll put as many as I possibly can in there and it'll probably be autumn and winter type fragrances obviously because that's the time of year we're in um, but if you have a look on the other wax melt listings and you see a fragrance that you really want when you're checking out there's an add note option and if you write in the add note option which fragrance you would like then I'll get that printed out on the order form and I can read it and I can make you one in that particular fragrance or whichever fragrances you would like. So we're going to start off first of all by making all of the wax that's going to go into these decorations. So we're going to be using six colours today. We're using Neptune Blue from the Soap Kitchen, that lovely pale, lovely icy blue. We're using green Pistachio from You Make It Up. That's going to do our Christmas tree. We're going to use some gold today as well. Super light gold from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. We're using Silver Dust from Mica Mama. We're using Ultra Sparkle White from Mineral Makeup Ingredients and Bright Red Mica from Aurora Dyes. Okay, so I've got some plastic pots here that I'm going to use and I've had them on the uh, plate warmer where, on, where the cooker is and I'm just going to dispense some wax into each one. And then we'll put the different colours in there. Now the good thing with this, because you want strength of colour on the bottom of the wax when you dispense that into the clamshell. Obviously I'm going to be pouring this way up and then this is the bottom. Now the good thing with mica is it actually sinks to the bottom of the wax. So you'll get a good colour definition on all of these decorations here. So we'll start off with the Ultra Sparkle White. I'm going to put that into two of our containers. I'm just start with the lightest to the darkest. As you can see, I'm putting plenty in because I want a high concentration of colour. No Christmas wax melt would be complete without some green and red now, would it? So let's just get those mixed in. Mica mixes in very, very well into wax. Now I should have done lightest to darker, shouldn't I? Just 
just stirring that to make sure all of that mica gets dissolved into the wax. you're going to need some pipettes as well just to delicately add this coloured wax into the clamshell decorations now these will get stirred up again these will get stirred up again just before we add oh there's one I've forgotten to do there could do with a colour that will do as a face so I think I'm going to go with some blush pink from Micah Mama So you're going to need one pipette for each colour. And I'm going to zoom in. Well, I'll show you me actually sucking some colour up into the pipette. And then I'll zoom in on the clamshell so you can see closely what we're actually trying to do in filling the colour decorations in. So I'm going to start with the silver so you can just give it a stir around like so and then squeeze it and you can suck all the silver up in to the pipette like so. We're going to start with the snowman so the body of the snowman is going to be silver so we're just filling detail in there and then we're going to have a red scarf it's where you've got to be a little bit delicate with what you're doing it's not going to be perfect and then we're also going to be doing the candy cane with the red as well so I'm just kind of drawing some diagonal red decoration lines across here far from perfect and then we'll also be using the red as decorations on our Christmas tree there's some little tiny baubles in there so just filling those in you could always have a red base as well and then obviously your Christmas tree is going to be green so you're just going to fill all of that in with your melted wax I think the only way to keep it neat is by using your pipette now in the bauble we actually have some holly now it's not indented the indentation 
isn't very good so basically all I'm doing is just putting some green there where the greens meant to go and then I forgot the berry in the on there so we need to put some red in there and then I'm going to go with that lovely silvery pale Neptune blue for the bottom of the Christmas bauble and you just want to fill that in until it's level with the level of the indentation right so white I'm using that ultra sparkle white and we're just going to fill all of this in with the ultra sparkle white here so we get a nice sparkly white candy cane and you'll see I've made a little bit of a mess there so I need to get rid of that with a cotton bud and then we need to do the face on the snowman so we'll go with a pink face and then we need a little bit of snow white fluffy snow around his hat and then I was thinking just for the top of the bauble there to do some gold now I did a practice one of these yesterday and what I did was um, all these colours set up on me uh, but I actually put them on the plate warmer and it's melted all the wax again so even if your wax um, sets up you can still remelt it in these pots these pots are not heat safe so they're no good for putting in the microwave or anything like that so that's the decorations on the bottom done now all we do need to do is just pour our fragranced wax into the rest of the container okay so we're just going to line up all these that we've made and then we're going to take the blow torch because all the wax in here is fully set and if I don't pour the wax on hot enough it might not stick to all these embeds and we need that to happen but you don't want to overheat your wax either uh, because it still needs you still need to adhere to all the rules that you usually adhere to like I always add my fragrance at 75 or 70 I always pour no higher than 65 but usually 60 59 58 degrees Celsius something like that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the heat gun today and you must be careful not to melt these decorations too much because all the colours will run into each other so pre-warm your heat gun up and as soon as you can feel it's, it's hot enough just run it over each one just ever so slightly just a little bit, tiny little bit so you don't destroy And then we're going to get our wax ready to pour on top so we need to just get that out of the microwave the reason it's in the microwave because um, 
I let it cool down far too much it was down to 55 so now it's too hot of course so I need to let that cool down again so probably what will happen uh, when that's cooled down to 75 it's 85 at the moment uh, I might need to just run that heat gun over these again so as soon as that's ready I'll be back now one of the great things about learning how to make wax melts is it's a very very affordable way to start a business you haven't got any safety assessments that you have to pay for you can buy a little bit of wax a little bit of fragrance a little bit of colour and just start from there so today I'm actually going to be using the ever so gorgeous Christmas memories from Nature's Garden now you can buy this fragrance in the UK as well now one fragrance I absolutely hate in fact it's the only one I can think of that I hate is pine I, ugh, I just I don't like it at all um, this Christmas memories does actually have pine in but it's so beautifully blended with the cinnamon and apples and everything else that goes with it that it's actually really 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 nice in this fragrance so we're going to add um, 50 grams of fragrance because we've got 500 grams of wax and if you're making wax melts or candles or anything always check the manufacturer's instructions on what's the best quantity of fragrance to add to your wax um, it doesn't mean just because you add more and more and more fragrance you're going to have a good scent throw um, it doesn't actually work like that um, so I just thought it'd be a good time to mention to you that it'd be a really good idea to check the seller's instructions. Um, obviously the type of wax you use plays a big part and different waxes have different strengths of scent throw and the only way to find out all of those is to buy them all and test them. So we've got our fragrance in there and we're going to give this a nice stir to allow all that fragrance and the molecules from the wax to absorb I'm not actually putting any colour in here because when you melt these bars the colour will come out of the the embed when you snap a piece off the colour is going to come out of the embed and give you a really nice interesting melt So as usual, I'm using the Eco Soy Melt Wax, um, but apparently paraffin wax is the best for scent throw. Uh, there is a coconut wax that you can get, which I haven't tried. It'd be interesting to try that and see what that's like. Um, so I'm just blabbering on really while we're stirring away allowing all of this fragrance to absorb into those the wax molecules okay so i'm going to get my heat gun out again and just run that over these lovely decorations in this wax clamshell and I'm a little afraid I'm a little afraid to wait until I get down to 60 because it's really important that the wax sticks to those decorations so I'm actually pouring at 70 um, but I guess if I test it and it doesn't work, then you don't have to do it and make a mistake. Now I'm thinking, what if I pour it on and it melts the wax underneath? Um, 
let's try one and see what happens. all looking fine so let's go we'll just do them all so that's it basically the best way to fragrance your home is with wax melts without question someone might want to challenge me on that But it's also very affordable it's good value for money like when you buy your diffuser it's strong for the first so however long um, next actually do some really really good diffusers that smell really really strong uh, really strong excellent they are um, and I would say they smelled strong for about six months they were really really good uh, I'll put a link to those in the description box below the video if um, if they still do them and of course you get good scent throws with candles but it's all about getting that big melted wax pool just like what we've got in this jug here right they've worked out pretty well now all we need to do is wait for them to set and i love to say cross now fingers because i'm not suspicious i don't even know why i say it but let's cross our fingers and hope that these all work out perfectly and we'll be able to unmold them easily and that all of those decorations are actually stuck to the wax that i've just poured in there right so we be back in a second okay they're all set now it's time to unmold so that is what they look like on the other side they look really good don't they really really happy with those and what I've realised is they seem to unmould a lot easier from plastic than they do from silicon. So have those decorations stuck to the rest of the wax. Yes, they have. Fabulous. Very, very happy. Could be neater, but it's not that easy to make them that neat. Um so they just clasp in like so And each wax melt, each piece of the snap bar is a lot chunkier than the um, than the regular snap bars. Um, but there still might be the same amount of wax in these. But obviously there's a bit more work. But the other thing I thought was, um, I've made a label just to go on the back here with the CLP information uh, but I want to make them even more Christmassy so each one of these if you buy one is going to come already packaged in this cute Christmas wrapper ready to go ready for gift giving so if you want one of these they're on the website now and um, I hope you enjoyed this video as usual if you did don't forget to subscribe 
like, share, place a comment in the comment section down below, let me know what you think, if you've got any tips for anyone or any questions, just place that in the comments. And these are our festive wax melts for 2021. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.